Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's so good to see you again. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel, you get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting. All right, folks. So this is the fourth episode. I guess this is the uh, the Goblet of Fire, if you will, of the episode series. And that actually makes sense because in the fourth movie, all the actors had like long, stupid haircuts. And also, Robert Pattison was in Goblet of Fire. Everybody give it up for Robert Pattison. Come on, come on, Rob. God, how cool would that be? You know? <laughs> the chances of Robert Pattison walking into the room just now are very low, but I don't think they are zero. So I. I decided to give it a shot. Didn't work out. It's all good. So yeah, this is the fourth episode. If you haven't watched the first three episodes of the episode series, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I, <laughs> go watch them if you want. I don't know, but that's like 45 minutes of content. So I'll summarize really quick. So in this episode series, I play uh, Curtis, a bisexual theater girl. I'm a part of this uh, play that's going on. I'm also participating in the baby project for one of my classes where I take care of this fake baby. I was paired up with this new girl who's really weird. She claims to know who I am, but I don't know who she was because I was in an accident and lost my memory, of course. Yeah, the new girl punches her car. I made out with Cody Simpson. Last episode ended with Cody Simpson spilling the beans that he's been working with my ex-boyfriend. He's been like spying on me and uh, keeping tabs on me while he's gone. But yeah, that's basically it. Without further ado, let's play this fucking episode game. Oh, yeah. Curtis, there's no one in the world like you. When you smile, it's like the sky's never known clouds. When you smile, it's like the sky's never known clouds. When you smile, clouds don't exist. That'd be a cool superpower. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it, it's so cloudy today. I think my soccer game's probably gonna get canceled. Did someone say it's gonna be cloudy all day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I said that. Well, here we go. Wow, the clouds are gone because of your smile. <laughs> this is great. Thank you, sir. Hey, all in a day's work. Oh, no, work. it's raining now. Oh, sorry. Ah! Another kiss, dude. Let's go. Nice. It was the kind of kiss that changes everything. <laughs> you know those kisses that just don't seem to stop because Curtis won't touch the screen. You know one of those? <laughs> also, I don't mean to body shame, but why does her butt look like that? <laughs> it looks like she's standing inside a, a larger person's legs. It's like she cut off legs of someone who's bigger than she was and just kind of stepped into them. Curtis finally did it. Hey, easy with the baby, dude. So you know when you press dolls' faces in and it's like, like that? That's what's gonna happen to my baby. He's gonna have a fucking soft part of his head. She broke through her mystery woman's bad girl exterior at last. Buzz buzz, Leah Gibbs. Hello? Hello? I think my game, is it frozen? Leah wants me to pick her look? No, it didn't. It didn't say that. I think they forgot to add that in. <laughs> or I'm a psychopath and I get no text message from Leah and I just look at my phone and I'm like, oh. I guess she wants me to pick her outfit. Just <laughs> randomly phoning up your friends like, hey, I got your text. What the fuck? What text message? Yeah, yeah, the text you sent me. I didn't send you I a mean, text. I'm a little busy today, but I guess I can choose you, your outfit. What are you talking about? I never texted yeah, you. Yeah, I'm thinking like a red dress and a big hard hat. Ah! So what look should we pick up for Leah? Also, can we not fucking do construction right outside my window? That'd be great. It's probably Cody Simpson, because he's jealous, and he wants to ruin my video. I'm gonna close my window. blank screen again. I don't know what you're supposed to be saying. I see the messages go, you see? The messages are trying to get on the screen. Hey episode, if you're watching this, fix the game and also delete the game. I am Leah's girlfriend. We missed that? I've been working, okay. I've been trying for seven episodes on this game to become Leah's girlfriend. And then the second I become Leah's girlfriend, you're not gonna show that to me? It's on site. Next time I see ep anyone who works for episode, I'm gonna punch your hand. I got us both new outfits so we can match today. Can I come show you the choices and we can get dressed together? Won't that mean we have to get undressed first? Oh my god. Chill, guys. Oh, we definitely have time for a kiss or two. Get oh, fuck. 
Like I said, dude, hey episode, if I ever see any of your hands, Punched. Thank God I already have 22 diamonds from the last time I purchased diamonds with my real money, but fuck it, let's spend it. Get your cute butt over here and bring those bigger legs that you were wearing before. I want to step into those puppies. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let me try on... I wish conversations were like this. You're talking to someone, and then if you don't know what you want to say, you can just wait. and the other person is has an infinite amount of patience for you. Hey man, what do you want to do today? Good question. Uh, we could go see a movie, yeah. Uh, we could go to the park, go to the mall, or we could cut off strangers' legs and wear them like big pants, huh? Mmm. Um... Let's go to the mall. Great idea. That'll be 50 diamonds though. Real uh, diamonds. Give me real diamonds. Okay, let me try on the velvet green bay wear. <laughs> Fuck that is. As we carry our dead baby with a concave face. Curtis tamed the savage beast? <laughs> Isn't that the name of the ro- oh no, that's Wild Beast. There's a name of a roller coaster at Canada's Wonderland called the Wild Beast. I'm not dating a roller coaster. Even though dating Lee is already quite the roller coaster. <laughs> God damn it, shut the fuck up! Fuck, man, okay. <laughs> They're rocking matching outfits? This person's legal name is Yearbook Editor. Nice to meet you, I'm Yearbook Editor. Now I know what you're thinking, I, I don't- <laughs> I don't edit the yearbook. Everyone's staring. Uh, time for some hallway PDA, dude. Some hallway penis dick ass, let's go. You two let the world know, penis dick ass. So Spencer's a spy and Gibbs has game. What a time to be alive. Hey, 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 hey. You mind if I join you ladies? We were just talking about uh, our bio lab? Yeah, except we weren't at all. And we were actually talking about you. Bay, you beige. Rehearsals are canceled tonight. At least I can avoid Spencer. Then maybe it's fate because I have the perfect first date to keep your mind off Spencer. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, look like, looks like I just, Threatened to build a clock in another town because I cut my eyes out. It was a reference from my last video. If you didn't watch my last video, I'm sorry because you're probably really confused. <laughs> Where are we? I was driving around one night after my dad left and found this place abandoned. I brought you here to show you. I want to let you all the way in. Let you all the way in. Another kiss, dude. That's like four kisses this episode, dude. Get yeah, my money's worth. Oh no! It's raining! Quick! Quick smile! Just flash a smile! I, sp I promise you the clouds will go away. I'd love to show you inside the cabin. Spend our first night together? Fuck! I can't not do this. So yeah, I'm gonna buy some more diamonds. Why are we still standing in the rain? Let's get in there! Thank god, my hair is getting soaked. Leah Gibbs cares about her hair? Shut up, Taylors. Shut the fuck up! Wow, Leah, it's like a whole house all to ourselves. Yeah, only a few other runaways know about it. Sometimes we actually leave each other notes. What? Okay. There's just a random abandoned cabin that people just... It's a timeshare? Tell me how a group of runaways are organizing a timeshare in the middle of a forest. I'm waiting. <laughs> I will wait here all day until you respond. And so he waited. Wars were waged, humans died out, and the universe as we know it came to an end. Billions of years later, there was another Big Bang, and history repeated itself until Curtis Connor 2 resumed the episode series. I guess stuff we feel like no one else would understand? I was gonna leave one a couple days ago. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, prem I'm getting a vision. My ex-boyfriend is gonna be one of the people staying at this cabin, because he's like a runaway, you know, he's a, what's the word? He's a vagabond, if you will. <laughs> is that the right word? I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I Google it later. Well, we were in the middle of something before the storm interrupted us. Yeah, another kiss. I can't seem to remember what that was exactly. Let me jog your memory. It's funny that she says jog because they jog everywhere they go. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm dreaming. If you are, I hope you never wake up. Me too, dream girl. I want tonight to last forever. Now let's cuddle up and get some sleep. <laughs> that was so fast. All right, so we had a great night together. Awesome. So see you in class? Dude, let's go. Oh, fuck. Oh my God, class. We almost forgot our assignment. We have to tell each other a secret. 
Something we never told another soul. That's your fucking homework that you're stressed about? That's what you're worried about? What's your secret? You've never worried about anything in school if that's how stressful your, stressful your life is? Huh? I need to tell you something. Oh! Okay, should I do one more? That's what I've been doing, right? All right, fuck. Just let me say one thing. Damn. Should I say the L word? Lesbian. I know without a doubt that I love you, Leah Gibbs. <gasps> All right. Maybe I'm coming off a little too strong. <laughs> Oops. Was the L word too much? We could take it slow. No, you didn't do anything wrong, Curtis. It's me. Punched too many cars. That's what happened to your boyfriend. That night of the accident, he was driving, and I sort of just punched his car. Dude, what happened? I told her I love her. Mazel tov! <laughs> hey, read the room, Gina. Are you guys talking about the assignment? So heavy, right? Gina and I had the greatest- Oh my god! We completely forgot! But if you bomb the baby project, Principal Collins is gonna pull you from the play! And we can't lose you! The agent needs to see you! Excuse me? The who now? Remember my uncle who works in Hollywood? You know, my uncle who works at the, the Dunkin' Donuts on Hollywood? He's gonna be there. <laughs> yeah, and he's an agent. A donut agent. He's gonna bring us donuts. So if you could do well at the play, that'd be nice. Okay, let's get to class. Maybe Mr. H will take pity on a future star. What's going on, you two? Sorry, I was, I'm a little late to class. I was getting the sides of my head shaved. <laughs> but the top is still long. Guys, I don't know if you... I don't know if you understand my haircut, but the sides are shaved, but the top is long. Finally, you put the long on top. You didn't turn in last night's assignment, even though all you had to do was tell each other a secret, so there's no way of me knowing if you did that or not. We'll totally make up the assignment. We're fine, right, Leah? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Whoa, 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 ladies. You're, got, you're getting awful short with each other, just like the sides of my head. <laughs> Can't we just be single parents? They haven't done any parenting for the last two episodes. The only thing I've seen the baby do is bounce up and down on the bed and get a, a, a fucking punched in face. Great idea, let's bail on each other when things get hard. Perfect practice for real life. Just ask my dad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whoa, you two are gonna be locked in until you finish yesterday's assignment. Okay, not allowed to do that. You'll both stay at Leah's until you finish the assignment. It might take a long time. Longer than the hair is on the top of my head. Gina, long story short, Leah and I are spending the night together alone. Not like that, but also maybe totally like that. How's my look? Hot fire. Get it, girl! Whoever wrote this story is 36. 100%, they're not a day older or younger. They're 36 years old, if they wrote that. Uh, hot fire! Get it, girl! Sweat! Okay, time to spill some secrets, dude. Now I'm dude? Well, you're definitely not bae. That's the most 36-year-old thing you could write into this story. Yeah, you are, dude, because you're definitely not bae. <laughs> Ow. Just punched my microphone. <laughs> uh, I better go get Chris Fucker. Why is it so hard for her to tell me what's going on here? Buzz Buzz. She's having an affair with Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond. Clara, how's it going with you know who? I know you're dying to tell her exactly how you feel. I'd love to get some insight on what Leah's really feeling right now. I'm not about to violate Leah's privacy just to find out her true feelings, okay? And what kind of example am I Am I making for you guys? So you know what? I'm gonna pass. Curtis, I love you with all my heart. <gasps> I've loved you ever since the moment I... Yes, dude, kiss her! Nice. Cool. Let's take this to the bedroom. There's something I wanna show you. Are they gonna fuck? Buzz, buzz. Girl, are you at Gibbs' house? I was doing some major Facebook stalking and I found out Leah's big secret. You need to call me now to be continued. Dang. Time for the ad read. Today's video is sponsored by Audible and you better not skip this, okay? Cause they just changed the whole game. Audible just launched something incredible. With everything going on right now, you know, with social distancing, kids going back to school, some kids uh, transitioning to online school, it's a stressful and confusing time for kids and families. I can't even imagine what they're going through. And now more than ever, I feel like kids need to feel like kids, you know? So to help families everywhere, Audible has launched a very special site, audible.com slash stories, a place where anyone, anywhere can stream hundreds of their titles, no strings attached, and completely free. Most of the titles are suitable for the whole family to listen to. And there's no sign up required. Just a wide selection of audio titles for kids of all ages to enjoy. You know, they got Harry Potter on there, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, The Call of the Wild, and so much more to choose from. All completely free. 
You hear me? It's all free. No strings attached. Just free. And obviously, if you want to explore more of their library, you can sign up for a free trial using audible.com slash curtistown or text curtistown to 500, 500 I'm really happy to be promoting something like this on my channel because I think it's extremely important for kids to have access to the things that they need to feel just better about their life and to just be happy. So I'm happy I get to promote something like this and I'm happy that Audible is even doing this. It's really great. And don't forget, audible.com slash curtistown or text Curtis us down to 500 500 to start your free trial today and give it a go you know tell tell your friends about it too to, if they have or tell your friends kids i just want everyone to know about this because it's a really good thing that i'm really i'm really stoked that they're doing it but yeah thank you to audible for sponsoring this video all the info is also in the description so please i, I urge you to check that check it out check to check it out thank you audible back to me okay wow well um thanks for watching these videos are uh, they're fun to do because it's nice to just not uh script it's really nice. This is really fun for me to just say, like, fuck around, have a good time. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button because one like equals one handwritten letter I will mail to Robert Pattison. Let me know some other games you want me to play or something like this when the baby project is over because I'm sure there's a lot of other crazy ones that would be a good time. So let me know. Yeah, press the subscribe button if you want because I make a video pretty much every week and they're a good time. And as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. If you didn't know, Curtistown is the best place to live in the world and I am the mayor. So you have to be nice to me because it's the law. If you want to see the other things I do, you can check the description. Uh, my weekly podcast called Very, Really Good. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And I thank you for the support. It's, I, I'm having a blast with it. Um, my Instagram and Twitter down there, my new merch is down there. I'm actually wearing one right now. It's got a little pocket here. So, you know, for quick episode access, you know, I can just go like, whoosh. so pretty cool. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I would stick around. I really would, but I have to go. Sorry. I have to punch my car really hard. You're definitely not Bay right now.